Good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Uh, today I decided in this video that I will make the live trading using 20 pips a day strategy. I believe it is one of the most uh, beloved strategies and it is really giving a lot of profit especially that we can uh, get out of the market with a profit in just short time so no need to spend the whole day trading just enough 20 pips and get out of the market and that's it just, just go enjoy life spend time with your family Th the problem people thinking that a, a day trader is a person who spent the whole day just analyzing the charts that is not really true every trader has his own style what I am doing and what I prefer is just to spend like one hour, two hours only trading and get out of the market. I prefer to trade early in the morning or afternoon Dubai time after five o'clock. That is actually the best time in my opinion to trade and the market will be calm and usually there are no major news happening at that time. So I want to show you something here. First of all, let me just increase the lot size. I'm <clears throat> sorry. No, 25 should be enough, yeah. I'll make it 30. Just need some cash. Okay. Uh, I decided that in this video, I want to show you how we can use the 20 pips a day using GPPNZD. Now, let me explain to you the reason why I like this pair the most and why I prefer to use 20 pips a day using the GPPNZD or actually the pound pairs in general. Um, if you go to the GBP and ZD, we can, see, <coughs> we can see that just a small reversal, for example, at the current price, a small reversal, look at that. It can easily give you a tons amount of pips. This one is just 20 pips, and that is actually very fine. So I just need to find where the candle is going uh, in just a small distance, like from this resistance until this nearest support, and we can see that is almost 20 pips. That is that's perfect. And if I go to the five minute time frame, we can see that if the market will reverse from this resistance right here and go all the way down to this support here, that is, uh, that's actually not bad. That is actually about 16 to 17 pips. And by the way, this is what I'm going to do right now. Let me just be sure because now I'm on the five minute time frame and look at the left, my friends. Look right here. We can see that we are on a resistance level and we can see the price action on the five minute let me go to the 15 minute time frame confirm that yes this seems to be like the market is going down at this point and five minutes again what i'm doing right now is switching between five and 15 minutes just to be sure that the market should be going down if i go to the four hour chart four hour chart it's obviously showing that the market should be going down because we have a lot of rejections uh, on this resistance level right here and we can see them the candles having a lot of wicks at the top here So in general, we can say that the four hour chart I am on a resistance level if I go to the 15 minute time frame. I am also on a resistance level So this should be good level for sell yes, and the sell has been placed and Again, I have to mention that look at the at the level where the price or sorry where the trade has been triggered exactly on the current price and again i have to tell you that is because i'm using the true ecn account from ic markets and you can support this channel by opening account in ic markets using the link in the description trust me my friends try ic markets and you will have really the ultimate trading experience with the true ecn account look at that we are already making good profit the market is going down and i will set my tech profit to be at this nearest support look at that my friend look at the left Look at the left. Uh, we cannot see it right now. Hold on. I just want to show you how many pips is that. That should be almost 17 pips. That's why I really love trading the GPP and ZD pair. It can give you a lot of profit very quickly and very easily. Um, let me show you another example of a pair which I don't like. For example, NZD CHF. I believe NZD CHF, right? Yeah, look at that. Look how many pips we need to wait for the market to go down until we have a decent profit. We need to wait for it to reach this support in order to have 17, 18 pips of profit. Unlike the GBP and ZD, a small reversal from the small candle, it's enough to give you a very decent amount of profit. 
so so far we are running in 11 pips of profit actually 12 and the tech profit is about to be hit I will take it I will take it I will take it yes I have taken it with almost 16 17 pips of profit very easy very quickly money good cash has been made immediately instantly um, let me now try to find some other good example uh, GBP AUD it's not really the best entry we can find uh, GBP NZD if we look at the left here we don't see that really strong resistance not only that but the pair look ugly because uh, now I'm on the 15 minute time frame GPP AUD sounds so you know uh, I don't know how to describe it in English to be honest it's just a lot of zigzag moves uh, so many ups and downs which make this uh, pair really uh, risky to enter that's why I prefer to be f uh, stay away from it uh, GPP GPY seems more convenient now I'm on the 50 minute time frame let me go to the four hour time frame look at that let me tell you something for those who would like to trade on the 50 minute time frame only it's not re really gonna cut it now the reason we can see here that we have a support on this level so the base the the, the first thought comes to your mind that this is a support so it's a good idea to start buying and the, here is where you are wrong because you cannot buy on this level because you are actually on a resistance level uh, if we look to the fifth, the four hour chart you are exactly totally on a resistance level you cannot think about buying the pair unless it reach this level right here uh, let me just be clear this level right here now why this level because this support is gonna keep the position as a support after this bullish breakout candle one second guys just wanted to be sure that I'm clear here if you know if you want to know what the heck am I doing in this video you need to please uh, check the videos on my channel uh, you can look at this video 20 pips a day strategy uh, but the most important video which you need to start looking at if you have no idea what I'm doing is this video Forex strategy 20 pips a day followed by 70 pips profit using the 20 pips a day strategy uh, I have another video live trading using the 20 pips a day strategy uh, this one here 20 pips a day live trading these videos are very important so you might need to look at it uh, sorry to look at them so you will have idea what I'm doing in this video it's very important my friends so again I am not I'm now focusing only on the uh, pound pairs I will not go to the other pairs because I just want to make some quick cash and get out of the market quickly for our chart for our chart now on the GBP CAD we can see that right now we are on the resistance level and this candle seems to be showing a price action of a, b a bearish reversal that is not enough we need to go now to the 15 minute time frame and 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 yes allow me to explain the reason why did I enter here what we can do or what we can see here is we have this bearish breakout candle right let me tell you uh, following to the hit and run rules and the 20 pips a day rules we need to look at the bearish breakout candle then look at the nearest resistance to this bearish breakout candle and then place our trade as a sell right on it where is the nearest resistance hmm let's look at that this is the range of the breakout candle let's scan it where is the nearest resistance you might tell me it's here but again you need to take a look this is here a resistance don't miss that look at that these two weeks here has been a resistance and this uh, two weeks here and these two candles sorry they are a resistance as well and if we look at the past or, or, or to the left we can see it he was here it was here a resistance and even here it was a resistance meaning the market should reverse at this point now let me tell you that maybe the candle will go up here up to this level right here before start reversing it's a possibility yes and I need to explain again the reason the reason is when you have the nearest resistance usually the reversal should happen at the nearest resistance to the breakout candle that's all right but sometimes the candle 
will go up all the way just to create the wick and usually what what is the normal behavior it's gonna hit the the, the nearest wick to the breakout candle you get my point guys so even though that the resistance or the nearest resistance is right here the candle still might be going up hitting this previous week here I have made a lot of lines this week here right here you can see it of this support so this previous support is gonna be the new resistance so this was a support and it's gonna be a new resistance and usually what happening is just the week which will touch this level uh, let's see examples in the past we can see it right here we can see because uh, we can see here that we have a support level and it reversed exactly on the same level of the top of this week at the nearest uh, to the uh, the nearest week to the bullish breakout candle where else we can see it actually everywhere we can see it for example uh, right here we can see how the candles went down this support level it went down all the way hitting the same level of this previous week here and then reversed so anyway uh, now I'm watching this market or sorry this trade which I have entered on the GBP CAD we can see that the, this resistance uh, is where I'm expecting the market to reverse but also the candle might be going all the way up and if it does I'm going to open another trade just to prove you yes exactly exactly that is what I want to do and you can see now I'm actually pretty sure that the market should reverse at this point yeah we can see it now uh, uh, going against me but please I want to show you it is very important let's pay attention how the candle is going to react to this level uh, I don't think I will, uh, will pause the video because I want to keep it uh, running so you, you my friends can keep an eye on it look at that please check it out exactly the candle is reversing uh, uh, as well I'm telling you just add the nearest week to the, uh, to the bearish breakout candle and if you get idea about how the candles uh, or the candles behavior you can understand uh, what's gonna happen and you will get familiar with it quickly now let me tell you that I'm not expecting the market to go a lot uh, uh, wait uh, how can I say that it's not gonna hold the position for a long time I am planning to exit my trade just when the market hit this previous support right here so we are talking about almost 16 pips from the first trade and from the second trade almost uh, 25 pips which is not bad at all that is more than enough more than when I, more than when I, uh, what I want so please look, look at that pay attention to the candles behavior it's not able to break from this level the candle is trying desperately to go above this level it just couldn't there is two reasons first of all as I told you this previous week here and the next reason is also we have here a resistance and my resistance line is drawn exactly the same way I'm telling you always that it should be touching the top of the shortest week uh, in the resistance so allow me now to pause the recording and I'll be back to you my friends after this trade finish and what we can see right now as I told you the market has exactly reversed on this previous level this is the proof that what I'm telling you here is honest and it's real please my friends try to follow what I'm doing here and what I'm teaching you believe me you will be the winners now let me tell you something was I 100% sure that the market will reverse here I was 98% sure it's not because I see this uh, previous week here just uh, close to this uh, bearish breakout candle that is of course not only the reason but I am on the 15 minute time frame and analyzing on the four hour chart we can see that right now I am on a resistance this candle seems to be going down that is the reason I decided that this level is trusted and I can here place my sell order exactly at this uh, level where this previous week of the support is going to be the new resistance now we can see the market is trying to go up that is normal of course right uh, because we are here on a support level but I believe that this bearish breakout candle is very strong and above to that that on the four hour chart we are on, uh, 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 on a resistance level so I believe that the candle should at least go down all the way to hit this previous support 
I believe this is what's gonna happen and I will show you what will gonna happen later uh, I need to pause the video again or maybe no need hold on actually I want to get rid of this uh, first trade and close it with the profit I'm already making good profit from the previous uh, or sorry from the second trade right here so I want to get out with this trade in a profit from the first one and yes I need to cover the commission so right now it's still in a loss and yes oh shit ah it was slow I was slow it's all right it's all right still we are in good profit $23 that's fine $313 right uh, $331 uh, 15 minutes video it's okay I don't want to make it so long I just wanted to show you example how we can uh, do this scalping quickly on the pound pairs trust me my friends pound pairs can give you a lot of good profits quickly if you know how to trade them and most important the timing uh, usually the pound pairs is more safe to trade at uh, 1 p.m. Uh, GMT time 5 p.m. Dubai time and above until uh, until 6 p.m. GMT time 10 p.m. Dubai time please my friends give it a try try to trade uh, or scalp the GPP uh, or the pound pairs on 15 and uh, 30 and 4 hour chart uh, time frames let me know your experience I'm very interested to know so I hope this quick uh, live trading video was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching